left handed starter their lone one at that Cole Irvin making his season debut Wood had another spectacular night they've all been spectacular. Oh, How about wow. that? that is a nasty curveball from Cole Irvin and he sweeps away with junior on three pitches. Well if you're a pitcher in the perfect world of pitching you throw it in the strike zone brings up the lone lefty in the Royals starting lineup tonight Benny Pasquantino. Breaking ball head on the ground through the right side a base hit into right field and Pasquantino has his third hit of the season and it's a two out single and Salvador Perez hit a two run home run in the third inning and finished one for four. There's a base hit into left field and the Royals have back to back hits with two outs. Nice job find those holes find them early. Okay, now he's not going to overpower you Irvin and I mentioned he could touch 95 but he's more comfortable in the low 90s so you have a chance to wait on this guy. You know wait 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 and that's a hard thing for hitters to do because they always want to get out there but you know finding holes. Velasquez had a double yesterday three for ten a double a home run a walk four strikeouts on the year. And he gets Velasquez to pop up. Backpedaling Henderson on rushing Kowser. It'll be Colton's ball from left and a pretty quick inning despite the hits 12 pitches. The Orioles will be facing Alec Marsh. Pitched in 17 games last year, eight starts. Gunnar Henderson, who is one of the most dangerous hitters. The 0 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Breaking ball down and in. Henderson chased it. Bills catcher was on base three times and scored a run last night. Velasquez is in left tonight, and he's got it inside the line, two down. Here's Santander hitting left side. The 0 2 pitch. Swung on and missed strike three Marsh got him with a sweeper a perfect first inning for Alec Marsh in 2024 he strikes out a pair and sets the Orioles down in order no runs Hampson he is getting the start center field tonight and he's on with a four pitch walk ready for me with one on one out and there's a base hit to left field he is not a backup and the Royals have two on with one out. Two on one out for Nick Lofton. Now the one two pitch. Swing and a grounder through the right side. It's a base hit. Hampson will be waved around third. Here he comes home. Here's the throw. He is safe. The throw is cut off. And the Royals take a one nothing lead on an opposite field RBI hit by Lofton. His first hit of the year, first RBI of the year. Young man waits his patient. Look at that. Hits it where it's pitched. A lot of guys going to try to pull it, but hey, look, there's a lot of hole over there on that side of the field. Michael Garcia. And a swing and a ball well hit deep left field that's way back and that's going to be bouncing up against that high fence out there right under the 384 side one run is in two runs are in as diving in head first to score the third run is Lofton for and Lofton both come around on a double off the left field fence the bounce up against the left field fence by Michael Garcia so his fourth hit of the year all four hits are extra base hits that double brings in two. The Royals lead at three nothing. It's three runs have scored here in the second. Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter. And Go. down he goes on a high cutter. Yeah backup cutter. Bobby Witt fouls off what four pitches and then kind of frustrated because this one again you think it's going to break and it just spins. Pasquitino oh, smacks wow. this one to second base. <laughs> Tony Kemp picks up a hot shot and ends the inning. Top of the third. It is a 3-0 Kansas City lead. Cole Irvin in need of a bounce back inning after he allowed three runs in the top of the second. Perez reaches down to get one. Smacks it deep out to left field. Colton Kowser is there right in front of the 376 point to put Salvador Perez away. Makes this pretty routine. Played a lot of center field. Easily runs that ball down. On Velasquez, he flied out to left field to end the first inning. The 2 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. A changeup to get Velasquez chasing. And for Irvin, his third punch out. Jordan Westberg will try to be the first Oriole to reach base tonight. Westberg left side. That ball is fair. And it flanged off the pole. So Jordan Westberg has an automatic double. He was the last Oriole to reach last night. He is the first Oriole to reach today. And that one was hit very hard. And we saw Westberg do this a couple of times last year, turning on inside pitches. And it looked like that one one hopped off the foul pole down the left field line. Here's Colton Kowser. Kowser, Q shot. Oh, oh that's, that's a little tricky <laughs> one. Some elite spin <laughs> off the bat of Colton Kowser, and excuse me, RBI double gets the Orioles on the board. A cue shot roller that had a ton of English, 
and somehow got by the third baseman Garcia. Had two hits, two doubles. What hurt Garcia was how far he was playing off the line at third base. He wasn't able to get there in time, and uh, Colton Kowser make it two hits and two doubles on the year. The Royals have a two-out base runner, and that brings up Michael Garcia. Garcia punches it high in the air, deep right center field. O'Hearn into the gap, onto the track, at the fence. It's over his head off the bottom of the wall. Lofton's already at third. He rounds the bag and comes in to score standing, and Garcia sprints to third. He's there standing. A two-out RBI triple for Michael Garcia. His extra base hit barrage continues, and the Royals now lead 4-1 to one in the top of the fourth inning. That pitch was up. And Michael jumping on it. Boy, almost got it out of here. Five hits for Garcia this season, all of them extra base hits. Tony Kemp searching here in the dark for his first Oriole hit. Kemp right field. That ball will hook foul. Just out of play at the last second. Paul Clemens had a decisive wave, the first base umpire, and Kemp misses an extra base hit by that much. <laughs> And the Orioles are going to take a shot at a challenge here. Boy, that is close. Well, it's, again, it's raining, so it's hard for the chalk to come up, but it like it hit right in the center of the foul line. Kyle Isbell, who came on as a pinch runner for Nick Lofton. Here's Mountcastle. This is all he does. All he does is rob base hits. The hand's a little dirty, but the dirty work is once again sterling for Mounty. Well, the footwork's superb. Otherwise, you don't get to it. And once he catches it, easily over there very quickly. But those are doubles. They're in doubles until he takes them away. Who would have imagined Ryan Mountcastle might be in line to be a, a gold glover before he becomes a silver slugger? He certainly fielded like one early. Michael Garcia has driven in three of the four runs. That ball smoked wow. to short. And look what Gunner found. <laughs> Well, you think him as a hitter, but he can really play shortstop. Just soft hands. And once he catches, it's a done deal. The Orioles have been held to just three total hits tonight. And now left-hander Will Smith takes the mound, looking for his first save of 2024. Rutschman elevates one into left field. That ball is well hit, but that ball is going to be tracked down by Hampson against the fence. A great play from Garrett Hampson. One down in the bottom of the nine. And I'm sure Will Smith did not want to have that pitch locate that changeup he left up. And thank you for moving the wall back, Orioles. Bottom of the ninth, one out now. Santander is down on strikes, two away. Now will change the speeds, had him out in front. Back to Smith. Mount Castle is out. And the Royals even the series with an excellent night on the mound. Go ahead and get jiggy with it. It'll work for the first save in his career here with the Royals. We love it. Nice job. Way to shut it down, fellas.